This isn't the first time that I'm talking about the Loop Deck. Three years ago, I introduced the Loop Deck Live to my channel. It's a multi-purpose console made to help you boost productivity when working with content creation software. It's USB-C to USB-C, although it comes with an adapter. Also has a little stand, so it fits any setup. The top cover is aluminum, so the middle buttons are a touch screen with haptic feedback. So you can tap to press the button, but you can also swipe up and down, left to right. The knobs are tactile, so you can fill each step and you can also press them, so it's an extra button. Then at the bottom, you will have eight different buttons that will light up in different colors to give you a visual cue. Now a lot has happened since I made my first video. And the biggest one is that Loop Deck listened to feedback from streamers and created the Loop Deck Live S, which I have right here. Oh, look at that. So now you have options. This is more compact, more affordable, but depending on what software you use or what type of content you make, you might want this one. Loop Deck is part of Logitech now. So platforms like Streamlabs will have full integration with the software. And talking about the software, it has drastically improved since the last time I covered it. So let's check it out. So the first time you open up the software, it's gonna walk you through the main functions. On the top left menu, you can select the device, the main profile, if you use things like Premiere Pro or Lightroom. Loop Deck uses their native API to give you access to all the functionalities possible. For example, I have this already populated profile for Premiere Pro. When I hover here, it's gonna be my undo button. And then those are pages for editing. And I have all my main editing functions, including ripple delete, ripple trim. Then I have my page for color, if I'm doing color grading or color adjustments. With the knobs, I can immediately adjust the contrast, the whites, the blacks, but I can also set them to control different stuff. As you can see, vibrance, creative saturation, and specific looks. But let's go back to a main profile. Then we're gonna have workspace. So within a profile, you're gonna have multiple workspaces. By default, you'll have daily use, and you already have some examples of what you can display on screen. For example, the clock. You can have visual information instead or as well as practical buttons. Now, when you wanna create your own workspace, you can just click here, create new, then call it whatever you want. The name of the activity, for example. But I already created one called live stream, and this is where the right panel would come handy. Everything is organized per application, but you can also customize this list as well as add to it by downloading plugins from the marketplace. So using software like Streamlabs Desktop to live stream, for example, you'll immediately find a list of your scenes right there. And all you have to do is basically drag and drop. And this is how we get our starting soon screen right there. Under that, you'll find individual sources if you want to turn them on, turn them off, regardless of the scene. We also get a specific drop down for our audio. Under general audio, you're going to find your headphones, your microphone, the most important things basically. And you can see that the icon changes. Actually, you can filter by type of action. Those are press actions and those are rotate actions, which you can control with the knobs. Let's say I want to control my headphones. I would drag and drop here and something's going to pop up here. And we're going to see our options between rotate actions on the knob, but also since you can press the knob as a button, you also have it right there. I have it set up to toggle mute. So if I press mute, it'll mute my headphones and Streamlabs desktop. So now while on Streamlabs desktop, I can turn the knobs to set my headphone volume. For the Twitch integration, for example, you should sign in. You have access to things like uh, set chat to emotes only, followers only, subscriber only, set it to slow mode, but you can also create clips, set a marker, run commercials, and as a visual display, you can show your viewer count right there. It's impossible for me to show you all of the options in one video, but under custom here, for example, you can have multi-action, so you can set it to do multiple things. This part pops up, and all you have to do is go find the actions that you want it to do. As a streamer, for example, I'm gonna go on Streamlabs desktop, and I can say streaming toggle. Maybe that's the actions that I wanna do once the stream ended, right? I'm gonna add another action. Okay, maybe I want it to stop the music that's playing. If I'm using Spotify, I can go under Spotify Premium and then under Toggle Playback, I can make it so that it pauses the music. Then I can save this multi-action. As you can see, it's saved there. I didn't give it a name and I can just drag and drop it wherever I want. So now when I press it, it's gonna toggle my stream. So start the stream or stop the stream and it's gonna to toggle the playback on my music. Once you're familiar with all the actions, you don't have to go around clicking. You can just click search under Streamlabs. You can look for your headphones, for example. If you have specific source and you know OBS has a bunch of sources, you can just type the name and find it. If you only want to see one type of action, you can click on rotate actions and it's only going to show you the rotate ones. And also make sure to only see the button presses ones. All of the buttons are fully customizable. You can even have animated GIFs or you can just go to the marketplace to get some more. So right there, let's click on marketplace. 
And as you can see, there's a lot of profiles that you can get, especially for specific software. For example, Slack, there's Audacity, there's Blender. That's a really good one. Filmora, Notion, Ableton Live, Affinity Photo, DaVinci Resolve. I know a lot of you use it. Cinema 4D, Cubase. It's really for everyone. So those are profiles. And then you have plugins. We saw Spotify, Streamlabs, of course, but there's Microsoft Teams, there's Chromecast, OBS Studio, Lumia Stream, Voice Mod, Twitch Studio, all of the Adobe ones are pre-installed. And we even have StreamerBot that is very beneficial for live streamers. So I talked about icon packs and you can see there is a whole lot to choose from. Like a lot, like so many. Some of them are created by owned. We have some 3D ones, some software specific ones, and you can easily install them by just clicking install. Other than that, you'll find some sound packs. We recognize the Blurp logo here. Stream overlays, emotes and badges, presets and styles for Lightroom, very important. But yeah, as I said, very difficult to show you all of the options in one single video, but just know that Loop Deck has been working on this for years now just to make it as user-friendly as possible. Oh, one feature that I really like is the dynamic mode. When it's on, the Loop Deck will automatically display the profile corresponding to the software window you have highlighted. For me, for example, I know I'm often switching between Premiere Pro and Photoshop, so this will be super handy. Overall, I'm pretty excited that Loop Deck has been listening to our feedback and been constantly improving their software. If you're a live streamer starting out and you wanna use Streamlabs desktop, this is the perfect console to give you control over your stream. Now, if you already have a more complex live stream with multiple audio sources, you might benefit from the extra buttons and knobs. They're also great if you're doing things like photo retouching on Lightroom because it's mostly going down a list of sliders. In this case, you can just turn the knobs, go to the next page, turn the knobs. So yeah, if you want to grab one of those, there will be a link in the description. Make sure you check it out. A huge shout out to Loop Deck for sponsoring this video. I can't wait to use it some more. And if you have any questions or things that you would like for me to test with it. Leave them in the comment section below. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Go out there, make me proud, get a level, out.